Tell us what are the areas that you bought data for and what were you looking for? And what's the time period? October 1st through the election. In Georgia, we actually bought from October 1st through January 6th after the runoff. So we went in, we decided to do the Atlanta metro area because it picks up some rural areas, it picks up some urban areas, it picks up some suburban areas. And we thought, okay, well, this is a pretty good test. We, in essence, sort of fit based on our criteria that we identified in Atlanta 242 people that went to an average of 24 drop boxes. There were several different violent BLM Antifa riots in Atlanta. In one of them, we had three dozen. We took a look at our 242 mules in Atlanta, and sure enough, dozens and dozens and dozens of our mules show up on the ACLID databases sometimes. There's not just a criminal element, but there is an ideological element, and that there's an overlap between people. I mean, you're not going to go to What you see here on the screen is a single person on a single day in Atlanta, Georgia, they went to 28 drop boxes in five organizations. Well, to validate your data, we chose to look at two murders that were uh, ebbing on cold case status. And in Atlanta, eight-year-old Sequoia Turner was killed by rounds of gunfire. Do you have video evidence? We do. Official surveillance video of these mail-in drop boxes. Yes. Do you have video in Georgia? We do. Is it video from the presidential election, the runoff election, or both? Both. We have recently learned video was specifically turned off on particular drop boxes. In which state? Arizona. Wisconsin. It. And you sent me a screenshot, Catherine, where you were requesting video, and I believe it was the state of Georgia saying this video does not exist and we can't tell you why it doesn't exist. Right, that was in, in Fulton County. This particular individual we have um, in a number of different locations at a number of different times. He's actually a mule. This is the official surveillance video of Georgia. Absolutely. And so as the person pulls up, what it looks like, it doesn't necessarily look like, you know, hundreds of ballots yeah. being stuffed in. You don't you know? need a whole lot of fraud, you just need a little in the right places over time. Is there a way to estimate, or even uh, roughly? There's one box in Gwinnett County that had a chain of custody document with 1,900 That's ballot true. drop box during that 25 hour period, 271. 1,962 ballots were deposited. Wow. Here are election officials pulling out of that drop box two full duffel bags containing over 1,900 ballots. Let's look at another one. Yeah, let's take a look at a... Uh, Interesting thing about this person is the device seems to live in South Carolina. So this person isn't even from... So this video is now from the Georgia runoffs. This, this, this is, was January this is, of 21. This That's particular right. one is at approximately 1 o'clock in the morning on January the 5th. A box that she attended. That's right. No. Dozens and dozens over the course of these two elections. Who's next? What you're going to see is he approaches the drop box on his bike. Finally gets that, pulls him out. Okay, now I'm set. What? At this point, they had started requiring the mules, apparently. And take a picture of the box. Then he kneels down, yeah. takes some pictures. OK, the next one. Yeah, so let me show you Dog Guy. So Dog Guy, middle of the day. This is actually at a polling. They're doing it the right way. OK, now, now you've got some other people going to walk up. And he's going to get his camera ready to take the pictures as he puts them in there. If you consider the brazen. They wonder. What does this all even mean if this is happening in broad daylight and nobody's doing anything to stop it? And so these are the kind of, when you consider that in places like Georgia, it was only decided by 10,000, 12,000 votes. We have 2,000 plus mules. 
you wouldn't, ca you wouldn't no. catch that guy. And they had to go to nonprofit the post office box. We're not going to look at them. One of the slogans of the Democrats through all this debate has been is, it doesn't matter if all kinds of illegal ballots Your are being election. drawn. This is the most fabulous election we've ever had. Pay no mind to the way, millions. Boy. I mean, wouldn't it be an accurate summary to say that these voter bills that the Democrats are desperate to enact? That's absolutely correct. What you are seeing is a crime. These are fraudulent votes. In two of our five key states, you were allowed to give your ballot to be delivered by a family member or a caregiver. This is vote harvesting, but it's not the same. the same as ballot trafficking. In no state in America is it legal for nonprofit organizations. to collect ballots and pay mules to deliver them to mail-in drop boxes. In drop boxes. Million minutes of video. This is official footage. This is a through this video. So this is uh, one o'clock in the morning. Don't we all? So you get paid. paid. It's business. This, it's business. One it's business. envelope on the outside. But this is. is to say the least. So one night, this person, this different drop boxes, five different and organizations. One neither Mullins interviews a whistleblower hired by the National Republican Senatorial Committee. I was hired by the NRSC. My job uh, was basically to watch the ballot boxes. And this was for the early voting in Georgia. So with, that started on December 14th and ended on the 31st of December. Consequently, during those two, uh, two weeks, um, I monitored those boxes indiscriminately. I would move around to the different areas in the boxes and watch them 30 minutes here, an hour there. And, then I... and those drop boxes are, most people would think, funded entirely by the states. In other words, the drop boxes. 